on this date, I did the strangest thing. Well, I did it. I closed all my social media accounts. Well, most of them. It feels very freeing because the amount of toxic cultures that are happening now, they've always been happening, but the amount that are happening now, as well as the lower return on investment, the ROI, for the people I want to serve, it makes perfect sense. Believe it or not, you can leave. Before you delete your own social media platforms, be sure and ask yourself these three important questions that can be a difference between success and failure. First question you want to ask is, where are my people? Where is my tribe? Where are the folks I'm trying to serve? If we're putting our time, our energy, and a lot of cases nowadays, our money into a particular platform to be seen and to connect, then it makes no sense to invest more into it if it's like a ghost town. Now, platforms come and go, and depending on the audience you're trying to serve, they can move really quickly from one thing to another thing to another thing. You don't want to be building up your castles of sand on platforms that don't make any sense anymore. The second thing you want to do is consider a test run or a hiatus. The organizationalist Marie Kondo talks about this all the time, where if there's an item that you really like, but you're not sure if it's time to get rid of it or not, you can put it away for a few weeks, maybe even a few months. And if you don't miss it, you can get rid of it. If you miss it and you keep asking for it, you can pull it back out. Same thing with social media. There's one hiatus I took for a whole quarter, a whole business quarter. And I found that actually I didn't miss the platform. And a lot of people that I want to connect with, I was able to connect with on my own platforms, including my newsletter and other areas that I had built up over time. If you do decide to take a break, put it in your bio and say, hey, I'm on hiatus. I'll, be, I'll see you on a little bit. See if there's little DMs, a little message that come. For a lot of the social media platforms, they will send you an email if there's a particular message that comes through. The third question you wanna ask is do and have I created my own pipeline? You have to own the pipeline to the people you wanna connect with. Otherwise, if you're dependent on a social media platform, they can cut it off at any minute. And of course, you can't leave. As I've left the social media platforms, I've built up my own platforms, including bringing your words to my newsletter at joindamon.me, as well as connecting with people in real life, whether I'm doing keynotes, people going to book signings, or me going to conferences. You have to build your own pipeline, otherwise you have no way to connect with the audience that you're not gonna be connecting with through the particular social media platforms you're planning on leaving. If you have a good answer to all three of these questions, it feels like you might be ready to cut the cord. And believe it or not, you can actually make a thriving business outside of social media. And I found that my business actually improved as I left social media platforms. Be sure and watch this next Bring Your Worth.TV episode about that very experience.